Duchess have indeed imprinted in golden letters her name in the history of the church in India through her special charism of adoration and liberation. It is with immense joy I humbly announce that we, the sisters adorers, are celebrating the platinum jubilee of our presence in India and the golden jubilee of our presence in Mumbai. My heart leaps up in gratitude to Almighty God and to all my senior sisters who through their hard work, dedication and commitment have kept our presence alive and active till this day in India and in the world at large. Thank you and God bless you all. Sisters Adora's journey in Mumbai, celebrating 50 years of helping abandoned children find their feet. A home opened its doors. Sisters Adora's Mumbai, where the journey began in 1972 to help young girls, women and children in distress. It was a chance encounter with the daughter of a banker who was deceived into prostitution that lit a spark in the heart of St. Maria Michaela de Smesres, then just a 35-year-old young woman touring the wards of St. John of God Hospital in Madrid in 1844. A spark that would light fires across the corners of the globe, including this state being blessed to receive the congregation that she would go on to establish. Sisters Adorers, Handmaids of the Blessed Sacrament and of Charity, or simply referred to as the Sisters Adorers, work for the care, rescue, rehabilitation and education of young girls and women in distress. The Sisters Adorers complete 50 golden years this January of service for the cause of children in Mumbai, having first set foot in the state back in 1972 as they set up their first home at Marol Vijayanagar to the patronage 
of the then Archbishop Cardinal Valerian Gracious. It was back in 1972 when, with the ardent wish to enter the Archdiocese of Mumbai and work with the children who are victims of sexual exploitation, the sisters came to Mumbai. In 1974, we identified a vacant piece of land close to Marol in Vijayanagar and purchased it for construction of their first house in Mumbai. It was small but adequate where we sheltered and looked after street children and later went on to provide hostel facilities for the community and the low-income working girls. All this through the efforts of the founding members, sisters Elizabeth Ratapilli and Maria Josepha Augustine. It was, however, a long-cherished dream of the congregation to help the marginalized women and girls in the society with the charisma of adoration and liberation and to empower them to value life by inspiring, upholding and defending women's values and help them live their lives with dignity which the community was trying to achieve through relentless service. Much like our foundress Saint Maria Michaela. The sisters have been caring for and helping girls grow until they are employed and can stand on their own feet or until they can find a life partner for themselves. Adoration and Liberation are the two sides of the coin of our charism. It is the intimacy with Jesus that hands us the key to our ministry. Today, we have communities in Mumbai through three different projects, namely Navjoti for school-going girls, Jyoti Nivas for the low-income working girls, and the Seva Dan for the battered women and children. Spread out to more than 12 states, we have around 26 homes working for the welfare of girls, women and children, making a difference to the lives of thousands of girls worldwide. The congregation is spread out in more than 25 countries. Sisters, there is a saying, there is no gain without pain. We can never achieve anything without hard work. To reach this diamond stage, I had to pass through uh, many difficulties. 
Joey and Soros, Sachas and Pelis, but the good Lord was with me always. I have lived and served in many of our communities of the province, and uh, they were very good to me, and uh, I lived with them, and they helped me to form myself. They helped me to go grow up in this formation too. Today, as I am celebrating the Diamond Jubilee of my first profession, I feel a certain amount of joy, happiness, and uh, I feel that Jesus is close to me, and He is always helping me, even though difficulties are there. He is always good to me, and I also thank all these sisters who helped me to form myself. I would like to. Thank my pioneers, pioneers, pioneers sisters, Antonia, Rene, and uh, Mother Dolores, who formed me from the very beginning till the end. Their formation helped me to reach this stage of diamond jewelry. I can say they were good to us, good to me everywhere. And also, I thank all my community members and all the sisters of the province, and also. Uh, One creation at large. They all supported me always. As we celebrate our golden jubilee in Mumbai, we, the sisters adorers, are looking to the future, embracing the complexity of the demands of an ever-changing world that now calls for renewed commitment to one's life and mission, compassion for fellow beings. and the humility to serve the needy and the downtrodden keeps the community motivated to make sure that no girl is left out